we're actually going to change the name to Furniture Flipping Pug. What do you reckon? It's all going to be about you, buddy. It's all very exciting. I can tell it's excited. So the reason why we're going to do that is because no matter how hard we try to keep Frank out of these videos, he always ends up in them. So today what we're going to do is I've got this old dining room table that I popped outside. And because it's been outside for about three years, it's looking really it's looking really dire and terrible. I want to refresh it. A lot of people will actually just go, oh, okay, my outside furniture looks like rubbish. Throw it out. Guys, you don't have to, all right? It is pretty easy to sand down the table and just to paint the legs. All right, today, me and Frank, are going to show you how to do it. Are we going to do it, Frank? Yes, we're going to do it. Now, I've washed the table down with Cuts and Millie's Clean Cut. What it, the Clean Cut does is it actually takes a lot of that varnish off. Um, I'm going to sand this the top and I'm going to scrub sand it. So today, Frank has sussed out what we are using. We are using Annie Sloan's chalk paint in the colour Pure. And to put it on, I'm going to use... Sorry, this lighting is terrible, isn't it? We are using Annie Sloan's brush with the Annie Sloan chalk paint I will be tinting that with another color I haven't decided yet which color that will be but it will be one from a pure eco line all right first thing that we need to do I've already washed so we're going to get into the sanding and I'll show you how easy it is to sand now this table it's a big one all right this is an eight seater table so lots of room for, for um, entertainment and obviously why we want to refresh it rather than sell it. Why go out and spend big money if you don't have to? Alright. Okay, so I'm going to use this sander here. It's a nice cheap one. I got it from Bunnings. I'm in Australia by the way. Um, I think it was $70 or $90, I'm not quite sure. It's just got a small head, it's pretty light, but it'll do the job. All right, you don't need to go out and spend big money on an expensive sander if you don't want to. Okay, this will be enough. Because it's small, yes, it will take longer. Give me a look at your face. So, um, Frank, as Frank knows, it gets pretty dirty work, isn't it, buddy? All right, we might have to put you inside because otherwise you will continue to stick around and you'll get all dirty, won't you? Want to go inside? No, I don't. So you don't need an expensive sander. Okay. Um, these sanding discs here, rather than pay big money um, at Bunnings, I bought packs online. I think it was from um, eBay. Okay. This is 120 grit that I'm going to use. As you can see too, most of the table has lost its varnish, so it's just going to need a nice smooth. Um, I'm going to do 120 just to get rid of the rest of the stain, the lacquer that was on it. And then I'll go over it with a 220 just to make it nice and smooth. Is that okay, Frank? All right, Frank's gone. Yes, we can do that. All right, let's get to it. Oh, before I start to now, I actually get asthma and I find if I sand, that causes a bit of breathing issues for me. So I bought this from one of those workwear places oh you're gonna eat it are you and i wear that mask so it's a really good filtration system just so in case i'm sending anything that might have lead in it um, but it, it prevents a lot of the dust um, a lot of the sanders can hook up to take the dust away i've got one of those vacuum cleaners but i just haven't set it up i just prefer to do it Outside, I'm going to chuck that mask on. Oh, in Australia here, for my American friends who don't know, um, a football ch football is really popular in Australia. And if you're an AFL person, you come over here from America, guys, get your Collingwood gear on. All right. I also have my Collingwood gear. What do you reckon, Frank? Don't eat it. Ugh, oh, it's got no taste. It's Collingwood, dude. Yeah. All right, so there's plenty of football teams, but I'm going to be wearing a hat just to keep all the dust off my head. Collingwood is good. All right, got all our bits and bobs together. We're going to start sanding. Thank you. 
So here is the crack in the leg. Okay, I just want it to last for a couple more years. I couldn't find my wood bend. So I went to Bunnings, which is our local hardware shop. It's not to eat, Frank. And we got wood bend, wood fill. <laughs> and the reason for this, and it's lucky that I didn't find my other one, because this is for exterior. And this is my outdoor table. All right, so it's always good to make sure that you are using the right putty for the right job. It's pretty easy to do. You need just a metal spatula or a plastic. Put a little bit of your putty on. I'll zoom in on there. And you just fill in the cracks. They, they say they prefer it to be dried naturally. But if you're in a hurry, you can actually just use a hairdryer on it. You just use your spatula and you're pushing all that putty in. Pushing it in, into the crack. All right, you keep going over it and you're pushing it in, trying to get it in as much as you can. You just go over and over, you're pushing down hard. You don't want it just on the top. I usually leave a little so it's a bit raised, so then when I do sand it off, um, it comes up flat. At the moment, I'm just trying to push as much of that product in as I can. Okay, I've got actually a fair bit of wood fill to do. I'm going to come back when this is all dry. Unfortunately, Frank really loves tea, so I'm going to have to <laughs> put it somewhere safe so he doesn't drink it. All right, and then I will be doing sanding over the top of the table with a 240 grit, I think it is, or 220, just to make it nice and smooth. All right, catch you soon. Bye. Okay, so I have just sanded it down with a 220 grit um, sand on top. I'm not sure why, but it didn't film. I'm really sorry, guys. But you can see the difference. It's looking pretty cool. All right. Um, it's really dry. I'm not going to... There's a few gaps, space gaps. Like This is an outside table. Does it need to be perfect? No. <laughs> I actually really like the little bit of ruggedness. Hi, I'm not having much luck today. So I had put this on film, I thought, to show you how to apply the Cuts Millies. So just to recap, I have just used Cuts Millies Cops Jetty, which is a really light, kind of, it'll kind of give like a, a white wash look. I used a sp sponge applicator. Okay, on the left here, um, I've done that first and you can see how the stain is actually absorbing into the wood. This part I've done secondly. To massage it in, I use just a normal chucks. It is done. So um, the Cuts and Millie's Cost Jetty has a built-in top coat, which will give it protection from the weather. And I'm also going to put the Cuts and Millie's hemp oil. So it'll cure after 21 days. Give it a little bit more protection outside here. If you put a stain on and you don't like it, guys, you just sand it off and you start again. It's pretty easy. This, um, the tabletop is done. It was nicely sanded. When my husband got home though, he goes, I don't like it really light, which is a bit annoying because I love it. I think the Katsu Melli's table stain is just beautiful. I didn't really feel like sanding it off. So I contacted Katsu Melli's and I said, you know what, um, can I just add a darker stain if we need it? And the answer was yes. So with the Cuts and Millies, it's really good. Um, great thing here is if I decide to go darker, <laughs> sorry hubby, I can just put a darker stain over the top of the existing stain and that's gonna be fine. All right, I don't have to do any more hard work, which is really cool. So today I will be painting with Annie Sloan's paint in the color Pure. Um, another little thing I wasn't quite sure about, um, don't be afraid to ask questions to um, suppliers, to the people who you buy it off. Um, this is a Purico, which is an Australian product, Purico I think they call it. Um, it is a clay based chalk paint. So I got onto a stock lister and I said, can I mix any Sloan paint with Purico? 
And she wasn't actually sure. So she got in contact with the owner of Purico, um, who said, look, we, I haven't tried it myself, but it should be fine. Now, the reason I asked is because Purico has the clay component in it. So, best thing with paint is let's just have a play and see what happens. But I'm sure it'll be fine. And the people at um, Purico think it's fine. So I've got this measuring pot here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the anise line with a little bit of Lagoon and a little bit of Chino. All right, this is me mucking around. I think it actually comes up and film a little bit darker, but we were kind of liking this color here. It'll be mainly white with a little touch of the Lagoon. And we'll add more of the Chino. Guys, I am... I'm just going to keep mixing it until I get the colour that I like. I have an anti slime brush here. Okay, and it packs on a lot of paint. Um, because she's been sitting there for about four years, it is a bit um, cool. And you just sort of dip in. It's a thick paint. And some of that. So the texture and the colour. So if any, you can just dop it on. And you paint every which way. You do not do the traditional up and down. Because it just doesn't look right. The good thing about the anti slime brush, it can get into these ornate type areas really easily. I keep going to do it traditionally. <laughs> Sorry, it's like a sweeping, twirling, dabbing. Lots of texture. Um, and the anti slime dries really quickly. I used to paint all my furniture and stuff. Well, my kids had a nap. Um, my husband wanted this a dark grey. So I kind of think this is a nice compromise. Um, I kind of wanted it a bit brighter. Like some lighter colour, so it could brighten this area. Here's my hope. Protect me, are you? Good boy, Frank. Good boy. <laughs> Sorry, the color, the um, lighting is not better. There's no stopping this dog. Time for second coat. Alright, overall, I love it. I think it came out really good. For so, the question of the day can any Sloan and Purico chalk paint be mixed together? And I think the answer is yes. And how beautiful does this look? Wow, and I love the texture. So if you could feel that, it just feels nice and chippy. It's not too dry. Um, obviously, so guys, that was mixing together Chino, 
little hint of green, uh, the lagoon. So you can kind of see a little bit of a green. And of course, Annie Sloan. And I used the Annie Sloan brush. Um, it's her pure bristle brush. It says 30 by 12, I think it says for my old ones. All right. Um, I will need a top coat for this and I'm probably going to use Purico clear coat. All right. We'll let this dry a little bit longer. I think hubby's lost because I actually really love it. Love, love, love how this turned out. Um, I'm not making it go darker. This is just too good. Thank you, Carts and Millions, for a beautiful top. Annie and Purico for a lovely base. All right. Okay, so I'm using Purico's eggshell sealer. Um, the texture with the Annie Sloan and the Purico is absolutely gorgeous. So now we have to seal it with top coat. Okay, particularly because it's outside. When you do it, nice and methodical. Um, try not to get any overlapping. And we'll probably need two coats. So nice long strokes. Overlap a little bit where you have your last line was. Clean the finish. Frank, don't eat it. So up and you can do vertical, up and down, or horizontal. Um, with a pure eco, don't go willy nilly every which way. The second coat of the Purico um, is just gliding on. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, my name is Jacenta and this is Refresh Your Furniture with my um, flipping dog. <laughs> um, so, the, so with my videos, what we're going to do, I'm going to be refreshing a lot of um, furniture that I have around the house and I'll show you how just to tidy it up to sell it. Also, I'm going to be buying furniture off Facebook Marketplace to replace all the furniture as my kids have gone through needing cots and stuff. And then they, they were kids, so now they're kind of up to bigger wardrobes and bigger um, beds. So I hope you find this video useful. Um, please let me know if there's anything particular you want to see. I'm happy painting. So enjoy refreshing your own tables. And I think that's upside down. Enjoy refreshing your own tables. See you later. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to get more videos like this one. Zach and Dawn!